Oh my gosh, you guys, we're having fun in the Raptor. <laughs> oh my gosh, Arizona's finally getting the monsoon season. do a little fuel economy test on the Raptor for you guys. I'm um, going on a road trip. We've got the navigation all set up there. Going to be there. It's four o'clock now. Going to be there about seven. I left at about 320. I left work in Tempe, Arizona. And we're going all up to about right between Greer and Sholo. And I'm taking the uh, Globe Way for all you local Arizonans here. But I figured I'd give you guys a, a little MPG test on the truck. As you can see, we're actually doing really good right now. Like, look at that. This thing's getting 17 miles to the gallon. I filled it up before I left. I put premium in it because it does recommend premium, but it can do regular. So I figured I might as well do more premium. And uh, yeah, like this isn't like, right now we're going downhill, but we've been going uphill a lot. Like, you know, this is all Arizona pretty much, but nothing but mountains, you know? So I don't know how the fuel economy is gonna be. You know, with all the mountains, I hope we run in some of them clouds. Haven't had rain in forever. That'd be awesome to hit some rain. Well, MPG update, 50 miles in, getting about 17 miles to the gallon. Pretty dang good. I'm surprised with the uh, Raptor here. Got the uh, 450 horse and 510 foot pounds of torque. And uh, as long as you stay out of that boost there, you can still get the eco, it seems like. Boost noises going up into the canyon. See. Now this right here is the spot where I kind of wish I had my car. This would have been badass. I should have totally taken my car through here. Let's uh, crack the window a little bit. See if we can get the boost blow off valve or something. Woo, okay, that's awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, that blow off valve, that Oh, that's so awesome. Well, not a blow-off valve, a vent to atmosphere plug. That's all I have in there. Definitely getting that good MPG right now, going down the mountain. Gotta really focus here, but you know, it's really nice. Beautiful views taken this way. I think the river's down there or something. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's really nice. Really nice area right here. Nice road. Definitely wish I would have taken my car on this. Never did, but it's fun. This thing definitely has a lot of body roll compared to my Charger. That is for sure, you guys. Like, I'm trying to just... Like, this thing is pretty fun, though, to sit here and just take turns. But it cannot do it fast because you just feel like the whole body's rolling because of that suspension. But it still is really fun, though. I mean, 30 miles an hour, and I'm at, what, 50 here? Let's see. I mean, definitely little sketch feels like like i feel like that's a max right there like i feel like my car could double all these little signs right here whereas this thing can barely do half like even that normal f-150 up there like he's he's mobbing up the hill really and i'm like this is scary <laughs> i feel like i'm gonna flip the damn thing the suspension but hey it's built for off-roading not for a uh, cornering canyon carving mountain so that's for sure definitely Still a really cool truck. Definitely like it. So luxurious and nice. I mean, the materials aren't perfect, but, you know, it's really nice, though. Like, it has all the tech, and I like that. You got some good little views there. Just trying to get you guys some... Get you the angles there. You guys can see everything. Cliffs everywhere. And, uh, yeah, just taking this easy, really. Hear that little turbo? Woo! I love it, man. Gotta let off here. Trying to. <laughs> Sounds so good from inside. Got to like Circle K here in Sholo, and I'm just gonna top it off because we're gonna do some off roading here in a little bit. So, just wanted to go show you guys what the uh, little final MPG 18.3. That's really good, honestly. 166 miles and a half, 18.3. Still have 273 miles of range. That's really good. Considering how many miles it's been, but been about two, almost three hours. Um, let's fill it up and uh, let's see how accurate this computer is. See if the hand calculations come out to about the same or not. Well, dang, that thing's definitely off quite a bit. It said I got 16.65 and that's saying 18.3. So don't always trust that, but look, we got 430 miles of range, which is pretty nice. But stop, got some beverages and some ice over in the back. I don't know if you can see it, but gonna be 
stocking up camp since I've already been there for a couple days and I'm just joining in. So let's get back on the road. As we are finally here, here's our road up here. Up here, this is Greens Peak area. And uh, well, actually Greens Peak is right over there, the mountain, but here we go. And a little navigation thing, but first time I'm taking it off-roading right now. Here we go. I can already tell it's a lot smoother than the 3500 we usually come down this road on. It's getting a little dark here. As you can see, it is seven o'clock. Actually, nice 67 degrees. Just came from the valley where it was 114, but a little wide angle here. Pretty much like I'm doing this at 35, and this thing feels like the razor, honestly. This is crazy just how smooth this is. Like, this is what the Raptor's built for. Let's, like, give it some gas, honestly. Like, I haven't noticed, like, a single bump. Like, this is crazy. This feels like a paved road. Like, especially right up here, this is usually really bad washboard. And I don't feel a thing. <laughs> this truck is so awesome, you guys. This is insane. Just how you can really just fly in this thing. Lighting, not bad, obviously. Uh... We got a lot of tint so that's what it's really like outside tinted you know everything through there and whatnot but really nice outside this thing is just going down this road see all the camps out there bunch of other dispersed camping i don't do none of that pavement camping stuff we, we go out here and just down a dirt road and we're just kind of floored a little Ooh, a little turp ski Damn, that sounds so good. This thing literally, it's like I'm on a paved road. I'm going 40 on this pretty bumpy dirt road and I'm, it's like paved. It's insane. Oh, like stable this thing feels. Like I'm literally, you know, like I said, dirt road, really bumpy. And this thing just freaking handles it like nothing. Like this is just normal cement right here. This is just awesome. I really do like that. This is a huge bump, Raptor. <laughs> Didn't even feel Oh my gosh, I swear you guys. I know you guys can't see me, it's getting really dark. Let me flip the camera. You can see more this way. This dirt road, like, I'm surprised just how well this thing just goes off-roading, man. Like, I mean, obviously this is just a dirt road, but can't wait till we actually take this thing off-roading, you know. We'll do that tomorrow though in the morning. I think somewhere around here is where I'm supposed to turn. I don't remember. Bro, look at it already. There went that detail, but wow. Truck looks so good. Like, damn. We're gonna be camping way back up in there somewhere. There's some camps over there. Look at this thing. Did my ice get all dusty? Probably. But yeah, we're gonna open up this gate and go on through. Raptor's looking badass though. Look at that thing. It's like a beast. Let's see, just did some little rapid fire there. That was pretty fun. Did I hit the can? You did. Oh, I hit it twice. Oh, yes. Look at that. That thing has such good, look at that. It was, that was up. a long ways away, too. Yeah. Look at it. Here's four more and like a couple others in there. But then I just kind of went rapid fire. But look at that. Got the can. My aim is on. Trying out the trail control there. Look at that trail cruise control. This is amazing. Just set it to eight and I'm going down the mountain here. Look at that animal down there. Oh, is that an elk? Zoom in. I'm trying to zoom. We're going down. Yeah, there is. That's an elk down there. Here, we're gonna slow it down a little. He's just standing there. Yeah, I'm trying to zoom in for the camera. You Shoot guys, it. Shoot <laughs> it. all of our clips are empty now. <laughs> Look at that guy. Look at that. Man. This trail control is amazing. Going down the mountain here. Oh, I want to go a little slower. Just tap it and look at this. Oh, a little faster. He's walking away. Okay. Or is that a cow? It might be a cow. <laughs> There's so many cows around in this forest. Oh my gosh. But this trail control, got to say, new feature never tried before, never had. And look at that. You just set it and it's controlling you. That's amazing. 
makes it so much better because on a trail like this you constantly have to tap the gas and the brake gas and the brake and it's perfect this ford's really nice i like it cow false alarm but really nice out here can't really tell how bright it is this tent but really nice really nice forged just trying a different little road here but i think it gets a little tight up there i don't want to scratch this nicely buffed out truck we got here but look at this got mountains all up in here it's a really nice area nice road but look at that truck oh looks so good i just put it locked up the rear end and tried doing a little spin in it but it's a uh, got a lot of nannies for sure but it's a fun truck the navigation took me on a nice little road like this it said narrow rough road <laughs> but that's funny we're just going to a little piece of land my dad wants to take a look at not too far out from here but uh yeah this is hilarious i guess raptor life it could handle it got a little i just had a first little mud puddle in this thing but uh yeah, having some fun here. Hopefully it doesn't get too tight. I don't want to ruin the nice uh, buffed paint for sure, but really nice area. First little mud puddle, here we go. <laughs> They're gonna get a little wet, might get a little wet. <laughs> That's awesome. Can't wait to see what the truck looks like now afterwards, but it is fun. We're having fun. Definitely a little bit of a tighter road. Look at that tree in the road, hopefully. This baby's wide. That's for sure, but this is fun. I like it. This is honestly way better than the Razor because I've got my AC seat on, air conditioning, really nice. It's soft and comfortable. The razor's a little rough. You're out in the sun and it's hot. Arizona's hot. That sun's still, that sun's still burning hot. <laughs> this is awesome though. Love the, the Raptor. Some more mud over here. That trail control is honestly awesome. I'm using that right now, not touching the gas for the brake. Just sitting back and just enjoying the forest going through a bunch of mud as you can see the truck is already i think super muddy i don't know you guys might be able to see there but uh we'll definitely take a look at it after we go through some of this but join this truck navigation really knows where to take you on some fun roads <laughs> Bit of water there got some maybe on the front camera that's funny it turned that on without me doing anything it's probably because i'm in the i put it in a like deep sand mode but got a little bit of water up in here but not too bad i know that wasn't like deep mud or anything but i don't know if i'll find any more today so i just wanted to get that for you guys but definitely fun can hear a little blow off there sounds great out that land is kind of like on a hill like kind of like uh, angled like that but got some views here heading back to camp taking the pavement way then we'll be coming back in obviously the maps aren't going to show because i'm now I'm using my phone trying that out but uh yeah cruising in the raptor i love adaptive cruise it's literally the best thing ever well here's pretty much camp i'm getting ready to have some dinner here but that's my cousin zach's trailer his can am which he actually rolled <laughs> a couple days ago <laughs> And that's our trailer. Got the Raptor, my Razor right there. Then my dad's Cummins right there. Got it all nice and set up though. As next day, these horses were sitting here like trying to get out when I was opening the gate, but there goes Zach. He's leaving in the Ford, the V10, but we're in the Razor. Now let's uh, go back over to camp. That's it, it's fun though. Dang, Bailey, you happy? Is this your new crib? You just got done digging this thing. Oh my gosh. Wow. Nice house you got here. <laughs> well, you guys, I'm thinking it's time to pack up. As you can see, the Raptor definitely got a little dirty for sure. Got some mud in there, had some fun in it. But it's not really raining or anything. And I don't really like going up camping and stuff when it's not raining, you know? I live in Arizona where it's nothing but sun, sun, and sun. So. I come up here to go in the rain, but see, look at that, just blowing dirt everywhere. It's dusty, gets in your eyes, and I don't know, I just, I like it when it rains up here. So I'm gonna probably head out here a little, just a little bit early, but truck did pretty awesome. Definitely had some fun. And it kind of ruined the detail there, sadly, but uh, we'll go pressure wash it off on the way home. Here we got the Cummins, look at that, all looking good and everything. Obviously toes the big old, 37 footer here <laughs> big old trailer had to go really low down to get it all leveled out and everything but yeah this was the camp though it was pretty fun we're gonna go hit the road here after i just put a couple things away and probably see you guys next we'll be we'll wash the truck up with a you know pressure washer and all that stuff so 
see you guys there. Okay, so before we left, I'm actually gonna stay here, help my parents load up and everything, but figured might as well make it a little lighter for the coming. So we're filling up the Raptor since I put premium in the back tank because this has two fuel tanks. We put regular with the generator and premium back here because obviously we would put premium in the Razor, which is way up there somewhere. But I'm sitting here trying to monitor it with the uh, how full it is there. And I don't want it to obviously overfill because this is just a normal like straight pump thing here. It doesn't have no fancy sensors or anything. So I'm just trying to kind of fill it up a little bit. It's almost full, so about ready to stop here, but pretty cool. Filling up the <laughs> filling up the raptor here out in the middle of the forest. That's awesome. That way you don't have to stop on the way home. But figure might as well give it a cold start. Woo! That's what happens when you have a heater grid delete. I mean, it's only like 80 degrees, but it hasn't been started in a couple days. That heater grid delete definitely uh, makes it a little rough on the start for sure, but we're gonna get one of those little uh, plug-in ones that go on the intake manifold. So that should hopefully fix it. After a minute, it'll go to normal. Definitely does uh, sound a bit rough though, that cold start. Raptor's doing good though. There we go, now it's back to normal. Okay, it's one thing I don't like about the Cummins, look at this. You only get two little options here. You can't swap these at all. Look at this. This is only on the 15 and older ones when they did the update and look, now it just does that. And there's nothing you can do. You'd have to go actually go rewire the cameras. One thing I don't like on this uh, truck right here. Right now we're just moving the behemoth so we can get the razor in. Cause it was just really steep to get it in how it was. I remember there was someone a while ago commenting to how does this fit in this trailer, but pretty much you just line it up to where the tires on the inside of those holes there. And you still got plenty of room pretty much over here. And uh, yeah, clears, clears, still have room up against here and still have room even in the back. So Razor fits in here pretty well. Obviously the slide comes in and will pretty much, the slide goes to about right there are my shoes at. So pretty much just kind of fills this area in a big slide there. See you with the slide in, fits huh? perfectly. We're bitching the parents there because we're in a Raptor. We can pretty much just fly through all this. I can't unzoom it right now, but yeah. So we're gonna be saying goodbye to them. There they go. And uh, yeah, let's start uh, zooming here in the Raptor. Yeah, we can just fly. Yeah, this is actually a brand new little car wash they put up in here in Hebrew Overguard, but truck is dirty. Look at this thing. It's got air dryers in it. Like, that's awesome. I can't wait to try this whole thing out, but this truck here, should be pretty clean real quick. Hebrew Overguard is really nice. This thing is the one where you just put your money in and then you click stop at the end. You don't have to sit there and keep tapping it. Ended up being $9 and I would say it looks pretty good. Doesn't look bad, but could be better. I'm gonna, I need to go get on the road because I didn't use that air dryer for like the whole thing. I was mostly just getting the glass, but looks better. Let's uh go get on the road. We're just cruising on the way back, but I just had to show you guys. Look at that view right there. That is just, that is perfect right there. But yeah, we should be home here in a little bit. Pretty much the end of the trip. Also, I forgot to show you guys the uh, you know pew pew devices I was using earlier in the video. So we'll do that once we get home. It's funny we actually ended up next to each other on the way back. There's my dad right there. Here are the Cummins. Well, we got the EcoBoost. Hey, there's another Raptor behind us. That's awesome. Here are the, uh, I guess you call the freedom devices. Definitely gonna get demonetized this video, but hey, it's just for fun. My first ever one right here and number two. This is just a pretty much just your basic AR and that is a uh, Taurus G2C. 
but yeah these are the um freedom devices that were uh, used earlier um definitely gonna get demonetized in this video but oh well i guess just this is just a for fun video for you guys and uh yeah but yeah no i love this one right here pew pewing in this one oh my gosh so much fun this one just more for you know keeping for protection or whatever just you know in the vehicle or at home pretty much but yeah no this is fun right here i got a bunch of this is kind of like my first setup with it i have different grips different sights and stuff i need to put on a bunch of different mags but yeah no these are these are fun right here definitely do enjoy pew pewing especially that one that one's just really fun to pew pew in <laughs> gotta gotta be safe on youtube uh probably getting demonetized but there you guys go hope you guys uh had fun in this video or just kind of enjoy it. just a little relaxed like kind of vlog having fun with the new raptor and stuff a little trip with it but uh yeah thank you guys for watching and uh see you guys in the next one oh my gosh you guys we're having fun in the raptor <laughs> Oh my gosh, Arizona's finally getting the monsoon season. I'm having to go in and out of the center lane here because look at all this rain and freaking everything's flooding. I have this thing in slippery mode. Oh my gosh, it handles it so well. Like, this is so fun. You know, if you just want to clean the underside of your vehicle, just uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, I got to go to the middle here. I can't see shit. <laughs> oh, this is awesome, man. Oh, that car's up there. I don't know, you guys probably can't see anything really. But oh my gosh, I'm gonna kinda get this car right now, man. A little bit. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. This is so fun! I love it! This Raptor's badass, you guys. Pulling the rain! Full throttle! Handles it like it's nothing! <laughs> oh my gosh. Literally, this slippery mode in 4 auto, because it automatically puts it in 4 auto, handles it like nothing oh my gosh it's like i'm on perfectly dry pavement with this truck it's so fun i love it then we can go to the sides here because lots of shit's blowing down you guys like our tree fell down or a small tree we planted like a little while ago fell down and like garbage cans are flying down the street in my neighborhood but this is fun this is real fun like here we go here's gonna be a big one right here look at all this water Woo! <laughs> it's like washing the dang truck Ooh, that was a good one right there, a little bit, but uh, just get some little lightning, man. This is an awesome storm. I love the weather, you guys. I, I need to move somewhere where it's like this all the time. Here's that tree right here, as you can see, it just fell down. It was really small, but just came out of the ground, but I'm surprised it didn't actually snap it, but we're gonna get it back up.